Now it's time to implement our user rating system. And a big part of the reason to do this is to get our average rating for any given object, right? So if it's a playlist, I want the average rating across all of my users for that playlist. The same would be true for any given category or even tags. Like we can actually add ratings everywhere, which of course means that we're gonna be implementing it in a very similar way as tags. It's just now it's gonna be associated to a user and it might have a different actual value versus the tags one. So let's go ahead and do this by creating the app. So first off, Python manage.py start app ratings. And we're gonna go ahead and copy everything from the tags model. So let's come in here, copy the tags model, bring it over to ratings.py and paste it in. And now it's not gonna be the tag of course, and it's not gonna be called tag item. Instead, it should just be called rating, and this should be value. So I'm gonna leave it in as value, and of course, it's not gonna be a slug field. Now what it's gonna be is an integer field. So the reason we're using an integer field has to do with the fact that I want a five-star rating system. So that also means then I'm gonna create choices here. So class rating choices being models.integer choices. So this is a cool feature to newer versions of Django that of course allows me to have a choice field for an integer field, which I really like. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and declare the constants for this. So one star, two stars, three stars, and so on. And the reason for this, of course, is to just make it a little bit more resilient uh, when I actually go to test it, but also when I go to use it. There is another field in here that I want to add, which is an empty field which this works on pretty much any of the choice fields like rating choices, I'm just gonna go ahead and say unknown. Now, what I also wanna have happen on this integer field is I wanna allow for it to be null, which allows me to say blank equals to true as well. Now you might be wondering why would I actually wanna do this? Well, in my opinion, no rating is also a rating, right? So let's say for instance, they actually, one of your users actually does rate this, maybe a two star review, and then they decide to take it away. Well, that I actually want to measure. I want to make sure that I know about it because what machine learning will help me do is discern patterns that I won't necessarily notice myself. So an empty rating is probably a good idea in this case, which really then it's a zero to five star rating, not a one to five star rating. Okay, so with this rating choice, I'm gonna go ahead and come in here and say choices equals to rating choices dot choices. Cool. So you also might be like, well, why don't I just have a zero star rating and actually allow it to go to zero? So if they set basically nothing, if they get rid of these stars, then it would go to zero. You totally could do that as well. I, I'm just gonna prefer this method at this point. Cool. Um, so now that we've got that, let's go ahead and add one more field in here. And that's gonna be the user field. So we'll do from django.conf. We're gonna import settings. And I'm gonna go ahead and declare the user as settings.auth user model. And I'm gonna go ahead and come down here and do user equals to models.user, or not user field, but foreign key and user. And then in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and say on delete models.cascade. I might wanna keep the rating for the user, and that's definitely something that you can consider, like keep all of the ratings no matter what. But in this case, I'm just gonna keep it simple myself and just delete ratings if something goes away, uh, whether it's the user or the actual object itself. Um, so that's kinda, kinda the goal here or rather the content type, not the object. The object going away won't actually delete the rating. The rating would still be there because of those generic foreign keys. If I wasn't using a generic foreign key, it absolutely would go away. Uh, but of course I'm not doing that. Cool. So you might be wondering why I used settings.authUserModel. So if you're not familiar, all this really is by default is auth.user. It's actually just that string. And so when you actually need to customize a user model in Django, you set the custom user model on this setting itself. So this is the preferred method of setting the user model. It's literally pretty much the only way you would end up actually setting it, but it doesn't, isn't the only way it would technically work. It can technically work in other ways, 
This is just the preferred method of doing it. Uh, so just keep that in mind, specifically just for the user. It's not for any other kind of model. Okay, so now we've got our ratings in here. Let's go ahead and update our installed apps in settings. And we'll go ahead and add in our ratings now, right after playlists, so ratings, and Python manage.py make migrations, Python manage.py migrate, Python manage.py test. Cool, all good. Okay, so that's our rating model. Now, of course, we need to do a number of tests for it. Uh, and we also wanna bring it into the admin, but I'm gonna do that in the next one.